This is question number two. We're asked to solve each of the following equations for x between 0 and 360 degrees. In the first part for three marks, we have sine of 1 half x is equal to 0 0.8. The first thing I'm going to write is my principal value. 1 half x will be equal to the inverse sine of 0 0.8. So check in, my calculator is in degrees mode. Shift mode 3. I'm going to take the inverse sign of 0 0.8. So that now gives me a principal value for 1 half x. We can say now that 1 half x will be equal now to the 53.13. So 53.13 dot 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 plus now multiples of 360 degrees. By symmetry we will also have 1 half x is equal to 180 minus the 53.13 dot 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 plus the multiples now of 360. We're only interested in solutions for x between 0 and 360. So if I now consider the first solution, I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 2. So if I go ahead and do that, I'm going to just store this in the calculator. So shift, store A. I'm going to multiply this answer by 2. And that gives me 106.26 and so on and so forth. Any other solutions are going to be 720 degrees on. So we will not have now another valid solution. So let's go ahead and write that out. We can say, therefore, from this one, x is going to be equal to the 106.3 degrees correct to one decimal place. So 106.3 degrees and that's to one decimal place. If we now consider this one, we're simply going to have now 180 minus my answer multiplied by 2. So we'll have now 180 minus the answer that I stored in. That's going to give me 126.89. I'm going to multiply that answer by 2. And that's going to be 253.7. So we have x is equal to 253.7 degrees. Again, to one decimal place. All subsequent solutions will be 720 degrees on. So we only have 2 in the interval from 0 to 360. OK, let's look at the second one. We have sine x is equal to 3 cos x, and the question carries 3 marks. I know the identity tan x is sine x over cos x, so all I'm going to do at this stage is simply divide both sides of the equation by sine x. Therefore, what I'm going to have is sine x over cos x is equal to 3, this gives me now tan x is equal to 3. So tan x is equal to 3. We will get a principal value for now x. We can say x is equal to the inverse tan of 3. Using the calculator in radians mode, this is going to give us now the inverse tan of 3. We're going to have 71.565. So x will be equal to 71.565. 65 dot 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 plus multiples of 180 degrees. The tan curve cycles every 180 degrees. So we can say from this that my first solution, correct to one decimal place, we can write x will be equal to 71.6 degrees. I'm now going to add 180. We could have now the next solution, which will be 200 and 51.6 degrees and these now are given to one decimal place. So all I've done is simply give my answers again to one decimal place and we'll have two. Any other solutions 180 degrees on either forwards or backwards will be outside the interval. Entirely up to you on how you want to solve these equations. This is one possible method as long as you're showing full workings and getting these solutions you will be awarded for six marks.